In tonight's 360 perspective, we're following up on our report about CBD and federal regulation with a look at a big change you might have missed over the weekend and a look ahead to an important meeting in Washington later this week. A quick refresher, CBD or cannabidiol is a non-intoxicating substance widely believed to have wellness properties, although not a lot of research has been done yet. As we've covered in several past reports, it's becoming more mainstream with products from foods to skin care showing up in retail chains and drugstores across the U.S. CBD is derived directly from the hemp plant, which is a type of cannabis that only contains trace amounts of THC, the substance that gives marijuana users the high. Hemp was legalized last year when President Trump signed the Farm Bill, but it's still illegal to market CBD as a food item or dietary supplement. On Sunday, the Transportation Security Administration, or the TSA, quietly updated its policy on flying with CBD. As you can see on the website, medical marijuana is now allowed in your checked and carry-on bags, but only in a certain form. It formally permits products containing hemp-derived CBD and FDA-approved medication containing CBD. But it comes with a big warning reminding you that possessing marijuana and marijuana-infused products, including some with CBD oil, still illegal under federal law. So why the change here? Because of the medication called Epidiolex, the one and only current FDA-approved medication that contains CBD oil. It's used to help treat and control seizures. The TSA said they updated the website to clear confusion for families who are traveling with the drug. With hemp expected to be a billion dollar industry in a few short years, the FDA under enormous pressure to come up with the regulatory framework for CBD products. On Friday, the FDA holding a public hearing on regulating hemp derived CBD. And this will be the start of a lengthy process. The meeting meant to give a formal public platform to draw attention to the issues surrounding not just CBD, but the entire cannabis industry, its potential benefits, safety concerns, the investments made in development, as well as consumer access to safe and beneficial dietary supplements. We're going to keep tracking this debate for you. In the meantime, if you have an idea that needs a 360 perspective, send an email to 360 at koaa.com.